Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. For those of you that are new here, my name is Sandy Cruz and I am the designer of the eye planner, eye design, eye journals, key life, pocket journaling, and a whole lot more. I create products to help you become completely digital, whether you're productive or creative or both, I have something for everyone. What you're looking at on my screen right now is one of the latest products that has been put up in the store. And the reason that I have this up on my iPad is this is what I'm gonna use to teach you today how to make your own custom patterns on your iPad. So I'm going to use this Mary Everything collection. And just real quick, I'll go over what comes in the collection. There are patterns, textures, and colors. Tons of elements. I design keynote quotes that are fillable. You can fill them with patterns or color. Hundreds of stickers. And I also include the palette with the hex codes so that you can customize your ink to coordinate with your eye planner layouts or your scrapbooking layout. This full collection is available as a bundle or depending on how you plan or decorate or what you're using these for. You might be using them for card making or making pocket journaling cards or your own stickers. So depending what you're using these for, you might just want the quotes. And so each part of the collection is sold individually as well as bundling it in a collection. Okay, so I want, I'm going to take you over to Keynote because that's where I'm going to make these patterns. All right, so here we are in my Keynote and the presentation we're looking at is the one that comes with the Key Life pocket cards. And the reason that I'm doing it here is because the drawing space is a nice size for me to make my pattern and then I'm going to also show you how I use my pattern. One of the things I did with my pattern is filled the pocket journaling cards or one of the pocket journaling cards. Okay, so on my next slide, you can kind of get an idea of how I set this up. I basically took two of the elements from the Mary Everything collection and I just kept duplicating them and duplicating them and aligning them very straight. Of course, I've gone off the drawing space so that I have a seamless pattern so that if you use this pattern to tile something, there won't be any breaks in it. It'll just go continuously. So I took this a step further and I put it over the top of one of the Mary Everything patterns that comes with the collection. So this makes it really just gives it a lot of depth and a lot of design and a lot of eye movement and it came out really cute. And I'm going to show you the different things I used my custom pattern that I made and what I filled it filled with it. Okay, so when I was done creating the pattern to get it to my camera roll so that it could be used and I can't do it in the video because then it turns off the viewing and my background disappears and it also changes the size of my iPad. So I can't hit the play button, but I'm going to just kind of talk you through this. So to get it to my camera roll, I press the play button, and then this opens up in a full screen. But the only part that it shows me is the drawing space. So it cuts all of this off. And then I also rotated my iPad. And the reason that I rotated my iPad is because it filled more of the screen when I had it in portrait rather than in landscape like it is. And then I just did a screenshot. And I did a screenshot just by pressing the home button and the on off switch. And that sent it right over to my camera roll. And now I can use it because it's in my camera roll I can, and I can use it over and over again. There was a little bit of cropping that I needed to do. It left kind of a a black bar on the top and the bottom, which is fine. I, I'd crop that out and then I was able to use it. So let me show you how to do this. I'm going to go to my back over to GoodNotes and get two elements to make a pattern. I keep all my stickers on the original boards that they come in in my GoodNotes under the heading stickers, of course. And then that way I can just scroll through all the stickers that I have. And here are all the freebies, the stickers that come with collections, anything I'm working on, and then of course the Mary everything. And I think what I want to use, I can't decide if I want to use a snowflake or one of these Christmas trees. Hmm. 
I guess I'll go ahead and do a snowflake. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom in and hit my lasso tool. And I think I'll do, I'll do this one. So I'll just copy it and go over to my keynote. I'm going to add a drawing space and then go ahead and paste it. So now I've got one, one element that I'm going to use for my pattern. And I can start off kind of big here. I don't have to size it down. I'll size it down when I get a couple of them on my drawing space and then I'll just keep multiplying it and then get get an idea of how how I want to have it set up or how full I want the drawing space to be or the pattern to be. All right so now that I have that size the way I want it I want a duplicate of it the exact same size so I'm going to copy and then paste it and then I'm going to paste another one and I'm kind of I'm not doing this as meticulously as I would if I was making a pattern on my own I didn't have if I wasn't recording a video the reason for that is we would be here a while and let's see all right so I like that distance so I'm just going to get my rows now that I have my distance established and I'll paste one more and then I will I think I'll do one more and as you can see I've got the guide set up where it gives me the exact space and if you don't know where that is you press the three dots here in the upper right hand corner and go to guides and then make sure that your spacing guides is turned on. And I also like the centering guides because after I make my pattern, I'm going to go ahead and center everything. So make sure those two are turned on. I don't have the edge guides turned on because there's just too many lines then on my page and I can't decide which one it's telling me to do and what direction it's telling me to go. So I just do those two. All right, so now that I've got a good amount, I'm going to go ahead and select all and group these and that way it'll be easy for me to multiply them so now that they're grouped I'm going to center it remember I showed you I had my center turned on my centering turned on and I'm going to bring it right up to the edge and I'm going to copy it and paste and now I can just keep pasting down my page and when I'm concentrating, I don't talk too much, and I know this is dead air right now while I'm doing this. Something else I can do is select all again and group again, and then copy and paste this to finish off the, the pattern. So you see that was pretty, pretty easy and pretty fast. And I'll go ahead and I'll select all again and group it again. And now I'm going to copy it again because I want to put one of my pattern papers behind it. So I'm going to go ahead and add another drawing space. So now I'm going to go ahead and add one of the patterns and I've already have it in my camera roll. Marry everything. And I think the one, the one I want to use is this stripe and I'll make it at least as big as my drawing space. And you see I just centered it up and down and side to side. So now I can go ahead and paste the snowflakes over my page and I don't have to be too fussy with my placement because I know that this is way bigger than my drawing space. So as I mentioned before, I usually do a screenshot by pressing the play button rotating my iPad and then hitting the home button and the on off switch. But there's an alternate way to save this pattern. I'm going to tap the three buttons on the side and then tap export and I want to export to an image and I want a high quality JPEG and I also only want it to add slide number six so I'm gonna tap here slide range and I'm going to scroll both, make sure both of them are set at 6. And now I'm all ready to save it, so I'm going to tap Export. And my options are I can copy it, save the image, which is what I'm going to choose, save the image. But I can also share with someone on messages or in an email and so on. So let me go ahead and tap Save Image. And that just saved it to my camera roll. So now let me show you some of the ways I'm going to be able to use this pattern. All right, so I'll copy one of the journaling cards, get another drawing space, paste, and I'll make it nice and big 
and I'm going to add a drop shadow, a subtle drop shadow, and then I'm going to go to image, replace, and I know that that's in my camera roll already. And now you can see, because of the way I did the screenshot, it left this at the top, and it's not quite centered. So I'm just going to double tap, make this bigger, and just kind of center it up a little better so that I've got one nice neat row of snowflakes going down my page. So there's my card, and now I'm going to go ahead and select all, copy, and now I'm going to go over to my album and stick it in my album because I'm making a whole collection of journaling cards to go with my Mary Everything collection. So here's the album and let's see, scrolling down to the page that I put them on, here they are. So here you could see what I've already done. This is the pattern that I made earlier and then this is the one that's over the polka dot. And now I have something to add to the collection. I'm gonna resize that to fit in its own pocket and there's the collection that I have so far. Something else you could do with these patterns that you create is you could make your album covers. So I made this album cover with the last pattern that I made. Here you could see the two elements and then behind the pattern that I made is the gold polka dot that came with the Mary Everything collection. And something else you could do with the patterns, the custom patterns that you make, is you can fill your iDesign shapes with it. And I did some washi for my sticky note on my page. So here you could see this is my December monthly layout. And I've used many of the collection. As I mentioned before, the iDesign keynote quotes are fillable. So I filled each letter in December with a different pattern that comes with the collection. And then I also took two of the numbered bells, the dated bells, and covered up 2019. The collection stickers also comes with the ready-made tab top, so all I need to do is copy and paste my labels right over that. It also comes with four different color dangles, and you could actually put anything at the end of these dangles. You could fill it completely up. These banners come already pre-cropped and sized for the planner, so all you have to do is just copy and paste them over. And then I filled these dates that are empty with one of the patterns. Splash some stickers around, some lists around, and I am ready to go for December. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something new, and I hope to see some of your custom patterns. Until the next video, bye.